Hey guys, welcome back to the studio. You're here again today doing a little TCG Live. Before we get started on that, I want to say a very special shout out to sponsor of the channel Gamer Sanctum, our favorite place to play in Sparta, Wisconsin, Tim and Gang. Have all your gaming needs, whether they be Dungeons and Dragons, or miniatures, or cards, or you, well, you name it, they probably have it or can get it. Check them out on all the social medias, let them know the barbecue man sent you. They're a great place. And we love them. So, I told you guys I probably wasn't going to play this Scovillian deck in the last video I did about it. However, I did build this deck in real life. And I did find a couple more changes that I did make. And I'm thinking about making a few more. But I did add crushing hammers to it. I took out the Buddy Buddy Poffins and added crushing hammers. Now, I'm not... In fact, you know, I probably should check this to be sure that this matches the list that I built for in real life because I played this at League last Sunday and I absolutely loved it and I had a great time playing it. Was it perfect? No, of course not. No, it's not perfect. But I really enjoyed it. So there's probably, you know, obvious, that's the biggest obvious change that there is. I'm going in here to check to see, oh yeah, I have that too. And I gotta figure out what the heck. You know, I'm gonna have to sort this deck out. See, bear with me for just a minute, guys. There is a, quite a few changes that I did make to this. And I want to make sure that we get them right. Because I was very happy overall with how this deck performed. In comparison to our last couple of videos that we made. Uh, here, on the, here on the TCG Live. And I want to try to replicate that. Uh, here on the Live. And see how it does. With the different build that I have. Alright, so let's go take a look what exactly I changed and how I can make this potentially better here. So, the obvious biggest change, again, is the uh, crushing hammers. Because I took, I took the Buddy Buddy Poffins completely out. And the reason I did that is because, you know, we could search for the Capsa Kids, but we had literally had four Buddy Buddy Poffins to search for four capsicums. And yes, mathematical odds and yada, yada, yada. Okay, I get that. But at the same token, we were literally using four nest balls and four buddy, buddy poffins to search for a handful of guys. And it just didn't seem to make sense to me. So we also have uh, one other change that I know I did make is I added a fourth nest ball to this deck and I'm going to go look at that because here's the four nest balls in real life right there. We'll put those aside for a minute and see what else we have that we've changed. So on this list here, we've got four Arvins. Let's go look to make sure we have four Arvins. Because let's face it, gang, Arvin is a very critical card to this deck. There are so many different things that you can get with Arvin, including the nest balls, including your tool cards, like the Forest Seal Stone. You can too. She just gets so damn lippy sometimes. Um, but that's something that's very crucial to this deck, whether it's a crushing hammer, whether it's super rod, whether it's an energy, whatever. Defiance ban, we have one of those. Now, the, this next card, I'm not 100% sure I even have in my in real life build, and I do not. So we're going to take it out. And that's the earthen vessel. And I know what you're thinking, gang. You're crazy taking that out of your deck. And you know what? You may be right. We're going to try it without it and see what happens. So we don't have any earthen vessels. Energy switch is a must. We know that. Let's see if we can find any of those in our real life deck. I know I put them in here. One, two, three, and four. Crucial card for the deck. We have four of those. Energy retrieval. I almost wish I could play two of them. But I think once the deck gets to a certain point, we almost don't even need them. And I don't have that in the deck either, which I find a little bit surprising. Nevertheless, it's not in here. We're taking it out. Uh, did I have two of them in there? Oh, that's energy switch. We need that. Energy retrieval. I don't have in real life. We're taking it out. Handheld fan. All right, let's see what we got here. I know I probably should have done this before I started recording, but, you know, I don't seem to have... 
There, handheld fan. We do have that, so we'll keep that. Super rod. I know I have that. Yeah, definitely a must in this deck. Iono. It says we have three Iono. There's one, two, three. We have four Ionos in this, in my in real life deck, so we're going to add an Iono. And I understand why I did that, because it always seems like you need to get more cards in your hand, and that is the best draw supporter, I think, for this deck. Let's see if we got the rigid band in here. I think I might have pulled that. I absolutely did. So let's pull the rigid band out. Boss's orders. Pretty sure I have those. In fact, if anything, I'd like to play a third boss's orders, but we definitely have two of those in there. League headquarters, another card I would like to play more copies of because I find myself up against a lot of basic decks all the time. And making them have more energies to attack is huge. Temple of Sinnoh, playing against Lugia. Great card to have. Again, could use more of those, but what do you sacrifice? Forest Seal Stone, we definitely have that. Nest Balls, we talked about that. We're up to four. The Unfair Stamp, the greatest card in the deck. Definitely playing that. Bug Catching System, 99% sure we have four of those, and we do. Crushing Hammer we have four of. Definitely have those. So now we have 57 cards in the deck, and i got to figure out what the heck do we have that's different. So we have four Nest Balls, four Arvins, the Defiance Ban, a four Energy Switch, the Handheld Fan, the Super Rod, four Iono, two Bosses Orders, two of the Stadiums, four Seal Stone, Unfair Stamp, Bug Catchers, Crushing Hammers. <coughs> okay, here's a couple of additions to the deck that aren't on this list. But I think I'm still one card short. I love this card. I have played this card for, I think, over a decade. I know, I've been a long time, and I love Judge. We are playing one copy of that. We also are going to play a copy of Enhanced Hammer. Just for the Legacy Energy, the other Ace Spec Energy that gives them two. The one that they play in, uh, in uh, Dragapult. We only have 10 energies in our real life built, and I don't know what the 60th card is that I'm missing. So let's go take a closer look at the list, see what it is we could be missing. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, oh, the nest ball. We need a fourth nest ball. There we go. Okay, so now our list is like the one we have in real life. So let's go play a game and see what it'll do. You know, and again, I don't plan on winning any tournaments with this. I don't think I'd play this in a tournament. But it played pretty well. I did beat up on a Charizard deck pretty bad this past weekend. Um, had some luck with some other decks that I played against. I don't think I lost any matches. I lost with my Drago deck, which was kind of unusual for me. But stuff happens. The other thing I think about doing with this is adding more energy. And we mulliganed. God dang it. I don't think the random number generator always does the same things that in real life does, but that's okay. So we'll see what we're up against here. If they make a decision, we will figure it out. In the meantime, I'm grabbing a drink because I've been working my hind end off down here, and I am sweating. Wow, we mulliganed twice. Holy crap, Ola. Not good. All right. We got a Capsa Kid start, which is pretty good. Depending on what we're up against. We do have an Arvin, so we can do something. We kind of have minimal stuff, though. Depending on what we're up against. If we're up against, like, a Raging Bolt or something, nope, we're up against Charizard, I bet. <laughs> That's fine. We got the Scovillian. We don't have much else. I doubt they're going to go off turn two or turn one. So we're gonna be we're gonna be going to town turn two here. We don't have any other guys though, so we're gonna be kinda hurting. Love this unfair stamp, but man, it's tough to use when you've only got one guy and it's in your opening hand. <laughs> Heavy ball, what are they looking for? They got the Rodham, okay. We could have used the Rodham. They have it. That's good for them. They got the Buddy Buddy. Here comes a couple of Charmanders. Probably a Charmander Pidgey. Oh, Sprigatito! 
Oh good, this ought to be interesting. Okay. And the oven. They're gonna get the whole squad down, aren't they? Sure are. Here comes the forest seal stone and another buddy buddy poppin. Well good for them. Really hope we get an Iono. <laughs> I really do. I'm really hoping it's an Iono. Well, hi there, how you doing? How's, how's your day? Yeah, that's good. Glad to see you home. Miss Kathy just got home from work, y'all. Say hi to Miss Kathy. <laughs> oh, they're going to town. Look at them. They're going to get a Pidgeotto and a, and a Middle Kitty. Look at them go. Look at them go. Sheesh. All right. Well, we got to try to knock that stuff down a little bit. That's That's not good. Not good. Oh, a bug catcher helps. Let's put that guy there. Let's put that guy there. Let's see if our bug catcher can do anything for us. Oh, we got another Capsa Kid and the old Ogre Pond. Let's play those. Now, we don't need to use our crushing hammer because uh, they only got one energy and we're clobbering that dude. So let's Arvin. Let's go see if we can get a... Uh, what should we get? Should we get one of them? Yeah. Or should we get... Nah. Nah. Let's do that. That'll be fun. Sure, that'll be fun. Let's play this. I like this. And let's bug catch her again so we get some energy. Oh, we got one. Alright, we can ogre pond that in play. Not a bad turn. Sure. Why the heck not, right? Yeah. Another nest ball. Okay. What do we want for that? How about Fez? Should we get the Fez and Dippity? Sure. Just because his name's fun to say. <laughs> Alright, let's go take some cards away from him. Knock out that bird. Take away the dust nor. Take away the forest seal stone. I love it. That hurts. Cool. Now they're probably going to get a Pidgeot this turn, which I was hoping to hit out of their hand. They didn't hit it. Away it goes. <coughs> yeah, they got the Pidgeot. They're going to Pidgeot. They're going to get their Sprigatito out this turn or their, what do you call it, Nelscarada. We did take their forest seal stones. We took one search away from them. And they are going to start putting damage on the board. And they have Avin. What the heck are they going to get with Avin? Unless they play two forest seal stones, which is possible. Do you think they have it? Do you think they have it? So, League Headquarters being in our hand kind of stinks because we really have no need for that in this matchup. Unless they decide to start attacking with Alakazam or Rodham. But I don't see it happening. There's Meowskarada. They have the Meowskarada. Well, that's terrible. Here comes the quick search. We need a little bit of a draw here or something. We don't have much to go with here. I mean, if they knock us out, we got the unfair stamp, but when they have Pidgeot out, that makes it hard. Well, they got a double turbo. Now we need the other stadium. There's a bouquet magic. They're going to put 20 on the board. Do they have to hit the bench with that? I forget. Or 30 on the board. Yeah, they hit the bench. Okay. Well, that's terrible. Now they can painful spoons it up to the front. What do they do? 100 plus they have any damage, 120 more. All right, whatever. And they're going to put it up front. Yep, so they do 220, which puts us at 250. Whatever. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're going to put that back here on Alakazam. You didn't want that anyway, did you? <laughs> he got one card in there. Oh, we could I own one, but I don't think so. Do we want to waste our hammer? Sure, why not? It'll be fun, they say. There you go, get rid of that thing. Now again, when they have Pidgeot out, there's really not a very limited amount we can do with our hand control, but we can still try. Oh, I got an energy switch, that's nice. That helps a little. Let's put that back there. Yeah, League Headquarters doesn't really matter. So let's get rid of that one card they have and their top deck. Buy Rare Candy, buy Duskull. 
Yeah, I mean, obviously, if they get an energy, which they can get with Quick Search, they can KO us. That's fine. They would have to have a Grass Energy and a Double Turbo and Painful Spoons to KO us without attacking, if you will. They have the Double Turbo, which they Quick Searched for. And they have the Grass. Jeez. So they're probably going to Painful Spoons and KO him. Sure are. Look at that. How? You know, <laughs> we have a control deck, and we they still just run rampant on us. They have everything. <laughs> oh, well. That's okay. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's fine. I mean, what do you do, right? <sighs> yeah, they got it all, baby. Hmm. Well, that stinks. Now we have nobody to play with. Unless we can get this guy running, which we could. But they have no energy on them, so they're... Yeah, well, okay, let's see what we get with this. Deal dance, let's go. Come on, get us something here. Ah, uh, there's no point. I think I'm going to get this out of my hand just to get it out of my hand. We get I own them, giving them one more card, which is kind of irrelevant. We get unfair stamp them. Let's do that instead. That really didn't help us a whole heck of a lot. That's Arvin. I can't take both of those, I guess. Do we have our dude out? We don't, do we? We don't. Huh. Well, maybe Pheasantipity can get us into something. Could Defiance ban. We'd need another energy, wouldn't we? We would. Pezzendipity would have to draw some energy. Perhaps Super Rod would be a better idea right now. Shush, I'm thinking. We're going to get that. No, we're not. We're going to get this. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to go for broke. Because that's fun. Bug catcher. Two energies. Perfect. That's fun. Ah, uh, we already did the teal dance there. Let's teal dance here. We're going to rip through a lot of cards, but I don't know it's going to do us any good or not. <laughs> Energy switch. 151. Hey, we can knock that thing out. Sweet. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. I think we can knock it out. I'm pretty sure we can. And we got a Capsa Kid to boot. How's the boot? No catcher? Spavillion? Might as well. Uh, na, 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 na. Tough choice, but I think I'm going to take this guy. Let's put that one on the bench just to be threatening. I think we knock him out. We sure do. <laughs> take that, you cheater. <laughs> just kidding, man. He's playing good, but he got everything off two cards. I'm telling you. <laughs> that was pretty amazing. Let's see what they can if they can answer that call. <coughs> we still have two boss, y'all. So we can be moving things around and doing the stuff that we need to do. We've got three energies of our ten in the discard pile. Not a lot of ways to search for them. So we're and then four on the boards. That only leaves three in our deck. So we're gonna have to go fishing for a few. I don't like that thing. I don't like that thing. Could use some boss to clobber some of those. Just not sure which one I want more. Probably that. That Defiance ban was a great idea. Woo! <laughs> Alright, let's see what we can do. 
and give us any opportunity to play here, or are we just going to sit around and watch? You. <laughs> Too bad we couldn't have the defiance ban on him. That still wouldn't be enough to knock out this dumb thing. Oh, they're going to boss up the... Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. And I don't think we have a way to pull him back either, so... Dang it. That's fine. We'll, uh... Huh. Okay. So, energy and a energy switch. Let's just start swinging with the crushing hammers. And we get tails. Perfect. We need energy. I think we have an energy switch, but we need an energy switch and an energy. One, two. Well, we have two energy switch left. Cool. Is it worth the Arvin to get one? Or we need the energy too. Uh, let's let's sure. It'll knock them down a card off their insta charge. Uh, whatever they got, we'll put on the bottom. Well, we got nothing. Dang it. Thought putting Ursa Luna down might be a bad idea. Maybe we slowed him down with the... Not likely, because they're going to build these two up and start whacking us here. Ursa Luna's a tough go, y'all. We do have a couple of Ionos left. Maybe we can get another one to try to swing again with that. Yeah, I should have known better to put that on the on the board. Well, let's get another let's get another Iono. Come on. Do it! Yeah, it didn't do it. Let's uh let's start teal dancing and see if we can get something going here. Iono. Boss's order. There's really not a lot we can boss up that'll help us. So let's just hold. <coughs> it's not over yet, gang. But if they start building these two up, we're going to be in trouble. They have nine freaking cards. Another Tito. No, Jermaine. Probably should have played that on the Ursa Luna, but that's fine. Whatever. Whatever. Well, let's make a decision. They got nine cards. You can't tell me they can't do something. There they have the energies, so they're probably going to come up and swing. Yep, they are. Yeah. We will need to get an energy and... Uh, oh, they're going to KO us. Okay, fine. And a canceling cologne. Okay, well, that does nothing. So. Hey, thanks for the Iono there, buddy. Much appreciated. So they should have enough. No, they still won't have enough, because he only does 120, right? Yep. Okay, whatever. What is it? What is that option? Go ahead. I don't care. I played it just to get it out of my hand. Well, we drew two Ionos now. Great. Okay, well, let's play that, I guess. Yeah, whatever. And we got absolutely nothing we can lose. You know what? I'm going to get this game out of here. This is just getting out of hand. They trapped us, and they did a good job of it. We deserved it. Let's try one more, just to see what we can do. See if we can play a little bit better. That was not good. We didn't play very well. Got way too far ahead of myself. All right. I'm a knock on our door. Woo! Here we go.
Fails never fails. And it didn't fail. Woohoo! I'd love to go first, thank you. And we got a couple of guys. We're going first. So unless we hit a basic deck, we should be okay. Let's go. Oh, we got, oh, oh, Chen Pao. All right, well, we're going to Chen Pao ourselves here, I guess. See what we can do. Only a 30 minute game, y'all. Come on. <laughs> I know people have internet issues and tough decisions. And I'm not trying to be critical, I'm just trying to be silly. Here we go. What do they got? It's got to be Chen Pao. I saw the back's caliber. This is a tough matchup, dang. I ain't gonna lie. And we get a Mully. Nest ball's good. That's ball's really good for us. There's the Frigibax. We can KO at turn one, or turn two. Another one of those guys. Let's Teal Dance if we want to. Let's Teal Dance. Come on, Teal Dance. That's a great card to get. Let's attach an energy for turn. We're gonna, we're gonna go all in on this move right here. And we are gonna Nest Ball. We are going to grab our buddy Rodham. Rodham's our buddy. We are going to assume, there it is, the Scovillian is in the bug catcher. We are going to force their hand, and we got two more guys. Look at that tomato. Woo! And we are going to uh, use this here. Yep. We got a fistful of dynamite, baby. Let's go. Fistful of dynamite. Yeah, yeah. And they got another Frigid back, so they'll be good on their turn two to get their backs caliber. There's the rare candy backs caliber. It would be a real shame if somebody were to Iono them. Yep. Ah, Nest Ball backs caliber, close enough. You, Karate, guess so. Chen Pao. <laughs> I am sitting here playing pokies. She must have saw something that happened really good. <laughs> um, you know, hold on, I gotta look. Oh no! I couldn't figure out. Oh what it was. yeah, he was stuck, huh? I couldn't figure out what he was. Stuck <laughs> He's he was stuck in like, the wheelbarrow. Whoops. He must have got really hungry and tried to eat the bottom of the whale barrel. <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> I saw the well, thought. It was like, okay, yeah. and then it was like, oh, my goodness. All right, we're loading up, baby. Let's go. Here goes Iono. Come on, energy. Get the energy. We didn't get, well, we got one energy. Okay. League headquarters makes Chen Pao work harder to attack. That's good. Let's get let's get some more stoof. Teal dance if you want to. Now, see, guys, this, this proves right here that the Buddy Buddy Poffin was overkill because we have all of the stuff here that we need. All the guys are out, and we have two nest balls left over, and we don't have the uh, Buddy Buddy Poffins even to deal with. We can actually use <coughs> the... Uh, we can use... We, we were able to... Fill, ooh, we hit the Irida and the Energy. Nice. But we were able to take those buddy buddy poppins out and put the crushing hammers in. Now, crushing hammers aren't nearly as usable in this matchup in particular, but we freed up that spot. We've already still got too many basic searchers in our deck. In our hand. All right, let's see what they can do. Let's see if we, we took away the turn two back caliber. Got an energy. We're going to get two more. Let's see if we took away the turn two. There's a horse thief. They got the Kingdra in this deck. Interesting. I do like that new Kingdra. It's pretty neat. Shrouded Fables has got some cool stuff in it. No bow to doubt it. So they're going to retreat, it looks like. 
Oh, they're making. Oh no, they're playing boss. Duh. You can tell I'm tired. <laughs> so they're gonna boss somebody up. I'm gonna guess they're gonna boss up the Scovillian. And they are. That's fine. What you got now, dude? We took away. Oh, they they got nothing. Okay. Energy switch? No. Nope. But we got to We got to All right. 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 So we can use the burn thing, and they can't retreat. So we might have to do that. But let's let's play one teal dance because we want to. And we got the forest. Oh, that makes this game just too easy. Sheesh. Uh, yeah, let's for a seal stone. We're just, we're going to go get an Arvin. We're going to use the Arvin. We're going to play the Arvin. We are going to take another card away from them. Come on, I just threw away more energy. So if they end up getting uh, the Frigibax and the Superior Energy Retrieval, they will be able to KO us because they have three in there. Yeah, we might have to cover that window up. It's too bright. <laughs> Gonna say, this is the dungeon. I know, I know. It's it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. That's why I toss them in your room. Yeah. <laughs> you want them? Yep. Let's see what we can do with that. Can they? Can they? Can they do anything to us? Can they got anything for? It? Yeah, we shut them down. How do you like that? We shut them down with the with the Scavalian. Or how do you pronounce it? With the funny looking two headed guy. Oh. <laughs> All right, gang. I'm gonna get out of here. We got we got people to talk to and things to do down here. But take a look at this studio. Look around. See what you guys think of uh, the changes that we made. You'll be seeing more of that coming up very soon. Uh, like, share, subscribe, ring a ding, the bell notification. Comment below. Let us know what you think of this deck. The changes that I made. And I may make one more video of this deck just because I want to see the fine tuning, see how it works, and go from there. Till next time, gang. I played it again. You guys can do it too. We'll see you next time.